Steve and Angela, people are still in shock here as they rummage through what's left of their home. Right now, they're just trying to save anything they can, which to most is nothing. After months of campaigning, it all comes down to Election Day. It's been a little more than a month since a building in Paintsville went up in flames, destroying several businesses and leaving eight families without a home. All that's left now is what you see behind me. Steve, as you just said, family members identified Scott Johnson as the last missing man. Now I caught up with his dad while he was searching for his lost son. Police say it was a little before 11 Monday night when an officer pulled up on a stopped green truck. Owners tell me that there are cameras in the building that work, but the men disconnected the system when they were in the store. Now Fannin's family has raised the reward to $2,500 for any information that leads them to Scotty Fannin. It's been nearly one week since Prestonsburg police officer Adam Dixon was shot. Monday morning, Robert Powers, the man accused of shooting Dixon, saw his day in court. Alex Casper Peak saw the damage firsthand earlier today, and she joins us now live from Johnson County. Alex. Steve and Angela, people are still in shock here as they rummage through what's left of their home. Right now, they're just trying to save anything they can, which to most is nothing. The water just came up like in 30 minutes. It was all gone. All many in the Flat Gap community have left after Monday's flood is the clothes on their back. We went bought a simple toothbrush, toothpaste, just simple things you take for granted. You know, we had to go buy, we had to go buy that just now. And it's just heartbreaking to have to walk in Walmart or wherever and just buy a toothbrush and be glad you have a toothbrush. Glenna Eastep says it didn't take long for the rain to destroy her neighborhood. The rain started pouring and I looked out at her creek because this creek usually gets up like to its banks and it was like probably knee deep then and like in 20 minutes I looked back out the window and it was under our trailer coming around the front. That's when Eastep and her husband got in the car and left. The trailer just everything went. Things was coming down through here, and we was running trying to get people out of these trailers, and it, it's just horrible. A flood that would completely destroy her trailer along with several others. Rescuers tell me last night people were being saved from trees and rooftops. Now, as Steve told you earlier, searchers are still out looking for six people who are unaccounted for and two have been confirmed dead. Back to you guys. On Friday, Johnson County school officials announced changes to school Christmas plays. It's part of a new policy concerning no more religious references. For years, different court rulings all the way up to the Supreme Court have stripped religious principles from schools. So today, some said enough is enough. The superintendent told WINT's Alex Castro Peak he's just trying to abide by the law. Dozens lined up near the Johnson County Board of Education to protest the superintendent's decision to what they call a ban on religion in their schools. But God, we've got to take their stand. You this is a free country. This is God's country. If you come here, this is what you come to. And we're not trying to change anyone else's beliefs, and I don't think ours should be you know, change. Officials say complaints about having religious references in their child's school play, specifically Christ and Jesus, led to their decision. We're going to buy by all rules and, and, and regulations that, that by state law that we're required to do. Uh, we may have bent those in the past, so, so to speak, because we do live in the Bible Belt. Many parents now worry their child's holiday play will be canceled. Superintendent Sawyer says they did not cancel any plays. However, there will be modifications made to them. We're trying to look out for the betterment of our uh, of our faculty and students in our in our district. Regardless on why the ban is now in place, protesters still want Jesus back in school. Jesus! 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 In Johnson County, Alex Casper Peak, WYMT Mountain News. School officials did say students are still allowed to pray on their own while at school or during a school activity. It's teachers and staff that can no longer lead the students in prayer. Searching for clues, family and friends of William Scotty Fannin have no idea what happened to him. A neighbor says he was last seen on Thursday. Other than that, he seems to have vanished. Today, their search took them to a lake. WYNT's Alex Casper Peak shows us how crews hit the hills and the lake looking for answers. 
Dozen searched the hills of Martin County Tuesday morning looking for clues in hopes of finding 37-year-old Scotty Fannin. Believed to be moved or somebody may have went over the hill or anything like that. We've been all around, all around Malo. I mean, nothing. Fannin's neighbor saw him last Thursday walking near his home. So far, the search has turned up no evidence. We haven't had nobody tell us anything. You know, the last time he was seen was right out from his dad's house and his house, and it's like he just vanished from there. Friends and family members who are out searching still have hope, but as the days go on, they start to worry what they may find. Pretty rough. You don't want to find him in a way, or you want him to come back home alive, you know what I mean? It's just rough. Tuesday's search focused around the Milo Lake. Family members say Fannin does not typically hang out there, but with the area being down the street from the last place he was seen, deputies wanted to search. They're thinking maybe he's sick out here, hurt somewhere, and you know, so we wanted to come out here and search this area to see if we could find him. Many searched on feet, others on an ATV, and the rescue squad searched the lake. We, we've all been at search and we ain't run into a clue of any kind. I mean, we just, there's no trace of it. As a community continues the search for answers with hope that Fannin will be okay. In Martin County, Alex Casper Peak, WIMT Mountain News. If you have any information about Fannin, you can call the Sheriff's Office at 606-298-2828. Fannin's family is offering a $1,000 reward for any information that leads to him. Steve, as you just said, family members identified Scott Johnson as the last missing man. Now I caught up with his dad while he was searching for his lost son. He told me, he said, uh, Dad, I stopped in to help you. Monday evening's flood brought loss to many. For Kevin Johnson, it was the last night he saw his mother and son. We go over to try to get to, to mom's trailer and, you know, the water swept me off my feet and my brother swept him off his feet and Scott, uh, he, he went on and he looked back at us and he said, I'm getting my Nana out of the trailer. Scott got his Nana and a little kid out of the trailer. He caught on to a little tree there. And they said he hung there for probably 10, 15, 20 minutes. I'm not sure. <clears throat> and he was doing good hanging on to him. That's when Johnson's trailer broke loose, going straight toward his family. He threw uh, Mom and Logan up on a deck, some kind of deck. And uh, they went outside. Johnson says the water was too deep and moving too fast to get to them. We kept searching for, for Mom and, uh, and Scott, but uh, we never did find them. The kid Scott was holding was saved that night. Johnson's mother was found a day later in a treetop. He was going to stay with them to the end, and he did. They found my mother probably three miles from where that happened. Scott is still missing. I want to find him. I keep hoping that for God to show me a miracle and find him alive, but I, I realize that probably ain't going to happen. Johnson says it's his faith that has kept him going. Now, as you can see behind me, truckloads of people have been coming to Johnson Central to donate items to those in need in, in the Staffordsville area. Now, rescuers are still out as of right now looking for Scott. For now, live in Johnson County, I'm Alex Casper-Pete. Steve.